Hello, it is Tuesday, March 19th, 12.47 right now. I am at Fort Lauderdale International Airport. This is, I'm sleeping in before my flight because my flight is at, I'm tired, I don't even know. It departs at 6.25 a.m. and starts boarding at 5.55 a.m. Welcome to the Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport. I'm Broward County Mayor Mark Bogan. While you're here, we encourage you to catch a show at our Performing Arts Center. Visit one of our great museums. If you like sports, how about rooting for our Florida Panthers hockey team? Or visit our national renowned Butterfly World. Broward County's 31 cities offer many great restaurants and of course, our beautiful beaches. There's something for everyone in Broward County. So enjoy your stay and come back soon. For anybody who ends up sleeping in an airport, you can search up this website, sleepinginairports.net. Type in the airport that you are potentially sleeping over night in and see what the situation is. Say hi from Austin, Texas, because I know I won't, my videos will be out of order. I'm super exhausted. I went to go pick up my car from my coworker's place because I left it with him while I was in Miami. And then we went to go eat crawfish. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, yes, it's time for food. I like. It's almost dinner time. It is 8 p.m. I wanted to show you guys this Airbnb that I'm staying for five days though before I mess everything up because it looks kind of nice. Like it already looks messy, but yeah. And I brought all the stuff that I have to rearrange. Did go grocery shopping. Um, just like hanging out with Jin and Enya and Brian. Um, I'm like, ooh, I should really cook more and just like learn how to cook better. It's 8 p.m. when it's late at night. I usually don't eat that much just cause I'm like, oh, my body's tired. I wanna go to bed soon. So today for leftovers, I have crawfish and bread and I think I'm just gonna do that. Originally, I wanted to do like fried rice and <laughs> bread, but oh, I'm tired. And I think you can wash this and reuse it. So. All right, I am fully like just allergy face, allergy face, allergy head right now. It's very stuffy, I have my sexy voice going on, which I really love, but my brain is really not there because of the allergies. It was so hard because just like driving around, I really wanted to sneeze while driving. Woo, but that's just an accident waiting to happen. It is my last hour in Austin, Texas, and then I'm headed to Fredericksburg for the afternoon and then San Antonio at night. I want to get there before 7 p.m. because they have this like free music, I guess it's like a musical festival down there, which I love live music. I didn't really plan for San Antonio. I think post Puerto Rico, I really just calmed the fuck down and let life go with the flow. Ooh, I want to stay so bad. I literally woke up this morning. The first thing I did was take allergy medicine. There's gonna be a lot more like nature-y stuff for the rest of the trip. I'm nervous, I'm excited. This is like the next challenge for me. Conquering the outdoor solo. Oh my gosh, I've gone legit crazy, probably. Oh, I did wanna show you guys, talk, talk about a couple of things. I'm almost finished with my facial cleanser. That's aloe vera. And so, now, BRB. I'm bringing out two different ones. This is the Cleanse and Polish Hot Cloth Cleanser. It's got rosemary, chamomile, cocoa butter, and eucalyptus essential oil. I love eucalyptus and I also love chamomile and everything else is just like good. I love this brand. This is this brand is from, I believe, um, London. I really love their toner. It's one of the very few toners in this world where I'm like, 
much. I also really love this packaging. This color is so pretty. It's like a light green. It's not super aggressive. Um, and then the other one, I had this I picked up when I was in Atlanta. It's from a brand called Love Your Mama, and they make facial oil soaps. Well, they make a lot of soaps, but they also make facial oil soaps. And this one is aloe and avocado. Oh, it smells so, so good. It's 100% natural. Um, the base oil is olive oil, and then they put in like aloe and avocado and all that crap. So, um, if you don't know, I don't know if I have mentioned this before, I wanna become more sustainable in all parts of my life. Food sustainability, um, beauty sustainability, especially since I'm a beauty lover, fashion sustainability as well. There's so many ways to go about it and I'm actually gonna have a series on the blog where I share my journey with you guys because when I first decided to start that series, I was like, all right, let's get started. Where, where do we start? Where do we start? And I was just inundated with so much information. I, there was like information about the oceans and plastics and beauty and fashion and um, like recycling labels and all of that and the history of recycling labels. It was so much to take in that I kind of had to be like, stop, we're gonna, we're gonna break this down into small pieces. I strive to be zero waste or low waste, but I'm not perfect, you're not perfect, you know? We just gotta do the best that we can. And in order to make better decisions, we have to know what the heck is happening in the world. So that's, that's basically what I'm trying to deal with in my blog series. Uh, by the time this vlog is out, that blog should already be up there. So I will include the link in the description box below. And here's the link for the blog. So have fun. I don't know about this, friends. So I drove out to Fredericksburg in Texas, which is considered the hill country. Over there, I'll show you when I can, is like this huge pink rock. It's like this huge, huge rock. I could, I saw it like a couple hills away. It's called the Enchanted Rock um, State Natural Reserve Natural Park. Um, but it looks like you have to have a day pass, which means I gotta pay money. Um. I don't think I'm gonna wait in line because I mean to be honest like I have Big Ben coming up this week which I know is gonna be gorgeous and there's so many like this is very similar to something I've done in Yosemite I just wanted to see this thing anyways it's famous for being like super huge and super pink it doesn't look that pink to me but I think it's because of the cloudy day so I think I'm just gonna head towards San Antonio, maybe Fredericksburg. I have no service right now, so I can't figure out like how far Fredericksburg is. I'll tr try to figure it out. <gasps> I've got this map over here that I should use. I actually still have not used it. Texas is freaking huge, look at this map. First of all, there's like six pages dedicated to Texas. And I finally figured out that I am somewhere over here, but look how crazy this map is. I, uh, damn, I'm trying to find 16. I don't know where 16 is. Just pulling off to the side and showing you guys the hill country of Texas. I'm sad that, so on my drive to the Enchanted Rock, there were so many like beautiful blue and yellow flowers and I was like, eh, I'll probably see them later on. I haven't seen them in quite a while, so I kind of regret that mistake. There are a lot of ranches here. I saw some wineries. All right, this is my room, it's very simple and this doorknob is very special. Each doorknob has a little, I think, if I did this. I don't know, there's like that thing over there, I don't know what that does. But that locks it and then I get to unlock it. Okay, I'm here out in San Antonio. Apparently it's like really, really huge. Um, the Airbnb that I'm staying at is about like 30 minutes from the center of the city, which is where I am right now. We're gonna go eat some food. Hopefully uh, get to watch some live music that is happening in, that is not a watch. 
where's my phone? Um, an hour and 10 minutes, so let's go. Um, did not expect to see this many people. there's like a lot of white going on which is surprising I actually have a lot of white t-shirts and this is from a girl who whenever my mom put me in a white t-shirt and sent me off to school I would come back rainbow color <laughs> I think today I did pretty good like I only I only have a couple of like lint in there first thoughts of San Antonio it's very very spacious Downtown though parking is horrendous. I could not find any parking today and I was I just gave up Stopped by Marshall's to do some returns and I figured oh, I might as well just pick up some Stuff for when I'm at Big Bend next week Yeah I don't listen back to this and be like, oh my god, you're really not in tune. <laughs> 